I'd like to talk to you about adoption. I was adopted when I was a baby, but my adopted mum struggled to cope. So when I was seven years old, I had to leave my home and go into foster care. Adoption can be a fragile process. Everyone involved needs support. It wasn't there when I was a child, but happily, things are different now. Today, I'm going to the UK's largest fostering and adoption agency to meet a lady whose job is to make sure that what happened to me doesn't happen to others. Hi, Lorraine. Welcome to Tact. Julie is a play therapist funded by your donations. I know from personal experience what some of these children are going through, feeling, you know, not wanted, not really knowing what's going on. The myth is that everything's going to be fine. The child moves into a loving family, everything works beautifully. And of course, sometimes it doesn't. It's really hard for the children because maybe they've had traumatic background or they've experienced neglect, they've had lots of moves. And so when they come to live with their new families, they need a lot of help to be able to create that bond. Because you do hear of many children that have been in 20, 30, 40 placements. It's really sad when that happens, sad for everybody, um, and has a massive impact on that child's yeah. development and growing up. So if we can support them where they are, even when it does get rocky, um, then that has to be better than the child going back into care. You've gone on to this adoption journey because you're wanting to express that love that you have. Julie runs parenting skill sessions to help parents prepare for adopting a child of their own. Now, if I say you can't paint the wall, what's the child going to do? Yeah, you bet I can paint the wall. But without it becoming a big, oh, don't do that, or yeah. don't touch yeah. that, or don't do that. Yeah. Then once the adoption is complete, Julie visits the family in their home, supporting them at every step as they start to build a new life together. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's the life for me too. It actually struck me that to have people like you, maybe it could have stopped the resulting breakdown in, in my adoption when I had to go back into foster care. So if something had been in place right from the beginning for you and your mum and your dad, um, it could have been very, it could have been a really different story. There are thousands of children waiting to be adopted. Thousands of children needing a safe, loving, secure home. But adoption isn't always a happy ever after story. Sometimes it's difficult. I really support the work that is being done here. And I hope you do too. <laughs>